We are in Utah for the Professional Disc Golf World Championships. It's the final round. It's the final hole. And Paul McBeth, who's won five world championships, is looking to win his sixth. He's got a one-stroke lead on James Conrad. So James Conrad has to beat him on this hole to push in overtime and let mayhem ensue. The 18th hole, they got to go over some water, then a sharp right turn into the basket. Macbeth throws first. Does he get through the trees? Does he get through the trees? Where's his disc? Yes. Does it stay in bounds? Oh, no. Oh, just in bounds. Those white sticks are out of bounds. And his reaction is saying, get, get off it. Get all oh, stay in, stay in, stay in. Okay. It's good. So he likes where he's at. Now James Conrad comes up and he tosses his disc and does it get through the trees? No, it hits a tree and lands on the grass. He is not happy about it. That's going to be incredibly tough for him, but doable, I think. But according to the announcers, not doable at all. He's going to have to force it, though. I don't think he can. Think it's I even just, possible? It's in the impossible range. He's uh -huh. going to need the shot of the century. Going to take a Herculean shot from it's there. It's going to take a mirror. Something we've not seen today at all. They had absolutely no faith. He takes his putter, and he just lays up and gets out of the trees and into the open, and that's where the miraculous shot is going to need to come. Macbeth, he lays up, too. All he needs to do is tie him on the hole. He's got no pressure at all right now. But here comes Conrad looking at the wind. Didn't really have any of it. That's nice. Sun's in his eyes. Finds his line. Has a putter in his hand. Has a lot of control with it. Thinks he knows what he wants to do. And I'm going to let... I'm going to let the crowd noise just play. Because it's awesome. Absolute mayhem. Electric. You see this dude in the Stars and Stripes bathing suit and the blonde hair? He just starts running circles around the putting green. We're going to get some replays here. The clutchest shot in the history of disc golf. They're saying people are going nuts. I like James Conrad a lot because he jumps every time he putts, and that always makes me laugh. He's the disc golf Jesus. Look at him just running through the field, getting high fives from everyone. This is my favorite replay because, look, he throws it. He's watching it. He's watching it. Now his mouth is going to slightly open soon because that's when he realizes, like, oh, watch. Oh, oh, that slight open of the mouth almost gives me chills. And when I say almost, it does. Because it's that's when he realizes, right? Oh, right there. It's like his whole face is lighting up a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. And then there it is. Here's from the other angle, and look at all the <laughs> open mouths behind him. One open mouth, two open mouth, big open mouth. Then this guy's going to pop up with an open mouth. This dude's mouth is still wide open. James's mouth, is, oh, open mouth back there. Another open, another open. Everyone just open it. Oh, open mouth fest, open mouth festival. Yes, open mouth, 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 open mouth. new open mouth. Oh, still open. Just everyone. If you're, if you're there, your mouth is open. And that's obvious. Just an incredible. Oh, that guy came in with an open mouth. What of it? Incredible, incredible shot to keep himself alive. Everyone just running. No way. Let's go. You guys thought we weren't going to have a let's go because it's not baseball. We got to let's go. They're everywhere. They're rampant. Look at that shot, man. Look at the, the marker dudes who are like part of the crew, both celebrating like crazy. They were overcome. It was like the dancing plague of 1518. Just overcome with emotion. Just nuts. So Macbeth, now the pressure's kind of on. He has to make this in two. Still pretty easy for him. He's, he is pretty good. So he gets it in two. So that pushes it to the playoff. And they play this hole. It's an island hole. So it has to land in this circle. Uh, yeah, obviously the water's out. It can't land in front of here and has to land here. It's an island hole. And that's the first hole of the playoff. James Conrad actually had a hole in one on this hole uh, previously. So he hyzers it. That's, he goes right to left uh, like a curve ball. And that's going to land 
right in there. He will be able to make that putt. So now Macbeth, he has to drop his right in the zone as well. A slight celebration. He's happy with the shot, but he knows Macbeth can do it. He goes for the forehand, and he wraps it around, and it looks good, and it looks good, and no, it's in the water. Tee shot for three after the drop misses. That means that it is James Conrad's tournament. He wins, so he made the incredible shot to keep himself in and then he stays strong and wins it on the very next hole gets all the momentum Macbeth goes behind you and he gets his disc from the water uh important note and then he's going to collect a lot of hugs and then a nice moment here from Macbeth and uh Conrad as Macbeth taps him on the back and then he says oh hey, hey nice game nice game and they they say hello to each other and stuff like that and then man just the champagne comes that's awesome and then if you watch to the right we're going to get blonde hair American flag dude, he comes back into shot uh, and jumps into the water. There he is. There he is. This dude's everywhere. Uh, Obviously, that's how that guy was going to celebrate. There was no doubt in his mind. And there he is, your 2021 world's champion for disc golf. James Conrad, disc golf Jesus, jumps when he putts, and I like that.